Uh, hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to answer one of uh, the questions that came to me in my inbox and it was about how to copy a file. And uh, as it may seem easy, uh, there are some interesting things to show here. So I'll show you uh, three ways that you can use to copy a file. Uh, first uh, way is to simply use copy file function. So it is pretty straightforward. You say, simply say uh, what file to where. Okay, so uh, for demonstration, I have this sample ISO. Uh, this is a file that is large, about 2.2, 2.3 uh, uh, gigabytes. So it's pretty large, and I'm going to copy it here. Let me show you. Okay. So I'm calling this function. And as you can see, this function frees up uh, my computer until the copying is done. So uh, this is the SSD drive, so it's pretty fast. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have a file that is so big uh, to see the difference. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, by using this uh, file copy, we pretty much uh, said we want to copy this file to this location. Okay. And uh, well, it's being done. But uh, the drawback of this is uh, that our application was frozen and uh, uh, we didn't see any progress while copying a file. So this next uh, button will copy a file, but with progress. So let's see how will that work. Click the button. Okay, and copying is done. So how did we do that? Let me demonstrate. So when uh, clicking this button, we simply say we have a source file and a destination and copy file AXW, uh, meaning white string, and it is from source to destination and to show pro progress routine we are going to use this function copy progress routine and that function is this so this function pretty much will uh, calculate the percentage of the file being copied from source to destination and it will move our progress bar this to that location so uh, like I said instead of just using copy file you will use copy file this ax and uh, you will uh, use this uh, copy progress routine which is this and uh, i think this is also uh, very easy and a bit more helpful than just using uh, this uh, option so that was uh, when copying the file with progress but also you can use this uh, sh file operation and it is a multi-purpose function. Uh, you can use it to copy a file, to move a file, uh, rename, delete, or well, those are pretty much the main options you can use. So let me demonstrate how this works. So I'll press here. And you see, we have this uh, window that sh uh, showed, popped up uh, while it was copying a file, meaning you can uh, use a uh, Windows API function. Okay, so I, if I click this uh, button again, he already sees that I have this sample is on my C drive. Do I want to copy and replace? Yes. And as you can see, you can use this dialog in your applications to simply copy a file from one location to another. So it's up to you to choose what do you prefer most. Just copy a file which will not show any progress but will freeze your application. Maybe it, it is uh, convenient in situations when you have uh, small files, but if you have a larger files, then you can use this copy with progress, which will show progress uh, while copying. Or you can use, like I said, this sh file operation, which will pop up the Windows uh, copy dialog and uh, uh, do it like that. Uh, to use this option here, uh, so this is the sh file operation. You simply need to define, okay, I have here a source file, which is this, and uh, I must specify a function of that uh, 
dialog so i'm going to use it to copy you can use it to delete like i said move rename and uh, from where well from this location to where okay so i don't specify a file name i'll simply specify a location meaning uh, some directory there are also some other flags that you can uh, specify uh, at msdn uh, there is a full description of that function so you can see for yourself on what you can do here well as i specified copy delete move the name there are all sorts of other options and flags that you can use so uh, multi-destination files non-confirmation and so on and so on so that's it guys uh, it's up to you to decide which uh, approach do you like best uh, and each of those has its uh, plus and minuses well thank you for watching and see you later